Can you see us? Yeah. Eric, can you see us? I can. What's up? What's, What's up, up, bro? Brother? Hey, thank you for joining us. I'm sorry we've been... We've you been, you may turn it sideways? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, our producer's going thumbs up. Does that help? Hmm. I got to kind of hold it now. Try to get it set up. I'm in the car with it. No, I love hey, it. Hey, we appreciate you. Where you at? Where you at right now? I'm in LA. Okay. Yeah. So, hey, last time we had you on, we were talking about uh, obviously cars, your love for cars, growing up with your brother, and then your excitement for Harbaugh potentially being a Charger. But now you are no longer a Charger. Now you're a Dallas Cowboy. Nope. How did How did you become a Cowboy? Um. Honestly, uh, it was a crazy process. I feel like uh, everything kind of happened kind of quickly, but uh you know just zim being there and and you know me me knowing the defense i had learned two defenses back to back two years in a row and um i wanted to be in a system where i could play fast and be middle linebacker so um you know i feel like Char uh, the cowboys was a good fit for me did zim just get there zim just got there this year yeah yeah cuz dq quinn was the dc before that what were you close to going with the Niners? Wasn't there a little? Wasn't there a little story behind you be, almost becoming a Niner and then you kind of flip into the Cowboys? Which, by the way, two iconic, yeah, uh, le legendary teams. Yeah, you know, um, like that's what you know. That's what made the decision so hard. I feel like uh, the Niners program is is a good one, and um, the organization, the staff, um, the, the opportunity to play with Fred Warner and those guys. I feel like. Uh, um, it was a hard choice, but ultimately, you know, I feel like me and Fred Warner played the same position and, uh, you know, in order for the, the, you know, to be better for my career and, um, to be more comfortable playing in my, in, in my style that way, the way I wanted to play, I feel like I had to make the change. When you were, uh, going through this process and seeing Harbaugh as your head coach, you're getting excited about it. You talk to us about it. And then how, what transpired for them when they cut you? Did they bring you in? They talked to you? Did you end up meeting with Harbaugh at all? Yeah. So I went in there, I went in there, I wanted to meet the staff and, and uh, some of the, some of the guys uh, a while back, I went in there, um, met with them, talked with them, uh, met with Navarro a little bit. Uh, you know, the vibes were solid, but uh, you know, anytime you have a, anytime you have a complete changeover, you know, a lot of things, you know, are up, are up for grabs. Um, and you know, I, I guess I was one of those pieces, you know, not, not to mention a uh, uh, few other names. Yeah. Did it come as a surprise to you? You know, definitely. Um, I feel like I, I finished the season really strong. You know, obviously we didn't really play well, but um, yeah, it was a little bit of a surprise for sure. When you think about being a Dallas Cowboy, every kid Ooh. who grows up and they think about, I've seen other players go from one team to the Cowboys and they've said, Growing up, what you think the NFL is like, that's what it's like playing for the Cowboys. How hype are you to have a star on the side of your helmet and no state income tax? Congratulations on more money. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's crazy. Um, you know, I feel like it all kind of became real when I was there and I saw the kind of setup and how um, the facilities are set up. And obviously, you know that um, it's a huge market. Um, but, you know, the, the, both the teams that I was kind of considering were, were both great markets. Uh, but... You know, we talk about Cowboys, you know, obviously, you know, you hear that it's America's team and things like that. But um, ultimately, you know, the fact that, you know, Zim was there and um, the defense that I want to play in was there. Uh, I feel like the, the stars just align. Oh, stars, you know, it, stars, Cowboys. <laughs> stars, you know, I'm, hey, I got these all day. What you want? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, are the facilities just insane? Yeah, you know, I, especially coming from uh, the Chargers office. The Chargers are going to get new facilities, but, you know, Cowboys facilities are are definitely, you know, top notch. When you're weighing the options between Dallas and the Niners and you were talking earlier about you and Fred were in the same spot, were they trying to talk to you at all about pl uh, playing next to him? Yeah, you know, that's what I would I would have played. Uh, I would have played Will, you know, so to speak, in, in, uh, while, while Dre Greenlaw was uh, nursing his Achilles, but – you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be in a position where, you know, I was, you know, playing a position the whole year and then ha potentially having to switch to another position and kind of rotating in and out. You know, I wanted to be on the field. I wanted to be making a difference. I wanted to be making an impact. And that's why ultimately I had to, I had to make a change for myself. You want that green dot. You, you a green dot shot yep. caller, you know, bro. Be, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just like, uh, you know, obviously it was hard. It was a hard decision to make because there's such a solid squad and such a good organization. but um. You know, I, I went to another solid squad and great organization with great D line. And, you know, I feel like it was a 
it was a win-win. I had to really just like kind of like write things out and 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 pros and cons and and um it, it was once I did that and I you know ta- had a great ta- great talks with my family and friends. Um, it made it very apparent where I should be. This is this might be an elementary question, but I really don't know the answer. What is the difference between Mike and Will as far as like responsibilities, except for having a green dot? And you guys should both answer this. I really don't know. I mean, Mike, you're just more. So Mike, you're, you're more in the action. Go ahead, Eric. Yeah, Mike, you're in the center of everything. You know, you generally most of the time you're right in the center, and you kind of have a a balance of both worlds on both sides. Whereas Will, you kind of get segmented mm-hmm. to partial side of the thing. And I'm used to having kind of everything crossing and mix matching and i'm used to being off three a little bit where will you're kind of more off two um not to say that you can't be off two at mike but um it's just the world i've been growing up in i've, I've been playing mike since i was probably in sixth grade um, i played one year at will in college my freshman year and every other year has been mike so um i think that that would have been you know not to say that i couldn't have learned it not to say that it wouldn't have been challenging for me um but i think that just at this point in my career, I want to play fast and I want to play play physical and I don't want to have to think and learn a new playbook and it made sense. I love that. Yeah, and you're 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 a Mike. I mean, anytime that I would have to go and play the will, like I honestly hated it. Like you would mentally it's not that hard of a switch because again, like he said, you're playing more off two versus three. But when you're the will too, you can be, you know, you're a little bit more vulnerable. You're a little more susceptible to yeah. be like, okay, they want I gotta fucking walk out of the box. Like me personally, I'm I'm always wanting to be just in the center and dropping off three and and again, if, if Eric, like you're saying, like you played it your entire career, there's no need to try and, you know, make some switch or make some jump, especially when you got your, uh, Zim, who you've been familiar with. For, I don't know how long you're with Zim in Minnesota, but you know that playbook inside and out. I mean, I think the cover, th- some of the cover three is a little bizarre, but you know that, you know, the, uh, Zimmer playbook. Exactly. No, yeah. exactly. I feel like, uh, can you see me? Yeah. yeah I feel yeah. like, uh, the, just, just. Like you said, you know, I just, I know the playbook. I've, I've played in his system for seven years, had some of my best years there. And, um, you, you know, just, it just felt right once I made the decision. I think it's time for a little clickbait city. Dude, give me your expectations for the Dallas Cowboys this season. <laughs> Man, uh, uh, I need to get to le- get to know my teammates, get to learn. But, you know, I, I played against them last year and, um, you know, they, they're very clutch. Very clutch. Very clutch. See, there's arguments out there that the Cowboys, that's the issue they have is they're not very clutch. A lot of talent. I mean, uh, a lot of talent, but um, you know what I mean? I think you just look at the, you know, you know, it's the NFL. You know, people come to play for sure. Um, but um, I think that, they, you know, getting to the next level is, is, is what you want, obviously, as a, as a program. And that's what, you know, we got to do in, in Dallas. But, uh, you know, you just look at their overall record, you know, and these NFL games come down to the fourth quarter every time. So when you have a good record, generally that means you're, you're doing well in those fourth quarter, those fourth quarter crunch, crunch time situations, situational football, you know, um, when, when the money's online, you know, you're winning those games. Dude, uh, that third down package is about to be crazy Nasty. with all the, with all the uh, cats and talent that they have. Cause you can do so many different things. Like, I, cause I was with Gunther in Oakland. And so he kind of hit, he was with Zim for a long time. So those those third down mm-hmm. packages are crazy, but I'm talking about with the horses that they got in Dallas. Like Zim's gonna be so yeah, you're gonna have fun out there. Yeah, no doubt. When you when you think about playing with a guy like Micah Parsons, who is it seems like he doesn't have any gap responsibility. He's allowed to do whatever the hell he wants based on where he lines up. As a linebacker, does that stress you out at all? Knowing that you might have to cover him no, gap I, gap. No, I feel like. Uh, I feel like uh, just just knowing where, like you know, knowing where he's at, and you have to know your your own responsibility first and foremost. But um, when you have a guy like that, you know, it it puts less pressure on you and more pressure on the offense. So anytime you have them thinking fast and us, you know, covering covering on our end, that's that's always a good situation. You know, especially when it's like a little bit of an organized chaos. Um, that's what you want. Yeah. I love it, dude. Brother, hey, thanks for coming on, man. We uh, whenever we saw you went to Dallas, we were kind of like. We were kind of like, oh, shit, we should try and get E back on since we interviewed him and he was a full-blown charger talking about Harbaugh coming. So we appreciate you coming in. What, uh, since we talked so much about cars, what are you, what are you whipping around right now? I'm in the Caddy. I'm in the CT5V Blackwing. Um, this is a beast of a car and it's, uh, it's classy. It's daily. You never really know, um, that it has almost (laughs) 700 horsepower under the hood, but, um, it can get it can it can get up with everything. Are you, are you, are you in a safe place or are you just off like the highway or something like that? 
because uh, low, no, key, I'm in the I, safe low, place. low I'm... key, I want to tell you to step out and go ahead and give us a little circle it around, show it <laughs> off a little bit. <laughs> I'll do that. Hold on. Let me see what, <laughs> me see what I can do. That. Cause I can, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do that right now. <laughs> yeah. Let me, let me, let me get it. Let me see what we can do here. Hold on. How do I flip this thing around? There we go. He's got an amazing tan. Oh, see, hey, let's see, you got the you got the number right here. Yeah, carbon fiber. Number. Oh, okay. good looking vehicle. That thing Look is at nice. Look at I like knowing he's kind of just bending down, giving it the shots it deserves. Right. Doing a great job, not showing the license plate. Yeah. <laughs> It's a vet move. Yeah, that it's is a vet move. move. Brother, we uh we appreciate your time, man. Thank you for pulling over on the side of the road to jump on with the boys. And good luck in oh, Dallas. No problem, man. Yeah. Take it easy. Good luck, brother. We'll talk to you soon. See you, bro. Appreciate it. See you.